And if everybody, what I'll do is if everybody unmutes or mutes themselves, and then I'm going to pin the video and I'll start, I'll start recording the, this. And then after, if you have a question or if you get stuck, please, uh, we, can, we can certainly talk afterwards. After the demonstration part's done, I'll go very slow. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways to get your Pentagon. And if you had some time to download or you, you, know, you saw these templates that I put up on the, our homepage, and these little templates are kind of cool because they, uh, you can print them out and you can actually size them on your computer any size you want. So uh, I'm gonna put these aside. I'm just gonna kind of go over the template or the making a pentagon first, and then we'll fold the stars. So the way the templates work, of course, all you need to do, to do is to put, put it over like whatever size you want. But I'm gonna show you my way of, or one way of making a pentagon if you don't have the template. So you can fold, just use one of your non-favorite pieces of paper. Uh, if you have, if you have a, a plain piece of origami paper, let's, let's just try making the, the uh, pentagon. So the first thing you do to make the pentagon is you fold your paper in half. This, this paper is hard to see. I'm gonna do it with the blue. For some reason, this lavender just is making my eyes blurry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fold this in half, increase it. And then I'm gonna take the bottom edge and I'm not going to fold it all the way. I'm gonna make a pinch fold, but I'm gonna take the bottom, this part right here. I'm just gonna make it meet right at the top edge. I'm not gonna crease it. I'm just gonna make a pinch right in the center. And just a little pinch fold, just so I can mark that center. And I'm gonna unfold it or undo it. And then we'll do the same thing on this side is I'm gonna bring this left corner, the whole thing, and I'm just gonna bring it to the bottom. I'm not going to uh, fold it. I'm just gonna pinch it right in that section. So what I have is a little tiny, um, you can see this little X here. You know, your folds will show a little X so right where that X is, and I'm just gonna mark mine just so you can see a little bit better. That is my little X where I had made those pinch folds. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my, fold, my uh, paper and I'm just gonna take this corner, this folded edge, I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna bring it right up to meet and gonna park it right in that little X, right in the bottom. Just park it right there and then I'm gonna make a crease. So I have my little, so that point went right into that intersection where you could see where that, uh, that X was. And you'd see it on your paper. You know, if you look, you can just kind of see where the shadow is. Then the next fold is I'm gonna take the fold I just made, this top layer, and I'm gonna fold this edge to meet, to lay right on top of this edge. So I'm just gonna fold this over and I will make, I'll just, I'm just folding this whole thing over. So you can see, I just did that, just that top layer. And now without moving anything, I'm gonna take this edge here and I'm gonna fold it. Basically this edge needs to meet this. So I'm gonna go fold it over and you see I've got, I'm gonna go ahead and crease. And this seems like it's crazy, but it's amazing how it makes a Pentagon. So. I'm going to, now I have this thing going. It looks very like, what does this mean, right? <laughs> but what we're gonna do now is a, a mountain fold right at this place where this part is. I'm just gonna fold this in half. So basically I don't wanna go this way in half. I wanna go the opposite. So I'm gonna fold this whole thing in half so that it, all of this lays nice and neat right on top of each other. So you could see I've got this kind of a, this shape here, this, this, is, this is going to be a pentagon. This whole area right in here is a pentagon. And what I need to do is remove this part. So where this top layer is, that lays kind of flat here. You can use a straight edge, you can use scissors, but right here is where I wanna cut. So I'm just gonna do it with a pair of scissors just to show you right along that top edge, just that little edge right there. So what that does, and this you can do with fabrics if you're making quilts or anything like that. If you need to make a pentagon, this is how you make a perfect pentagon. And there it is. So I've got a pentagon. And that we, I can fold from this square, from this one. Um, that's one way. 
Um, what's nice about this, the, some of the, fold, the folds are actually pretty much already done. And now there's only certain things I have to do. But so that's your Pentagon, but I'll also show you how to do it using your template. So let's say you find, oh, here we go. I had a little bigger piece here. So I made, I, basically I traced out my design on an eight and a half by 11 because the square was just not quite right. You know, so I laid this on the, this was the large template and I just lay it down. And what's really helpful when you're cutting, instead of trying to do it with scissors, you can do it with scissors, but I love these little fisters. You know, they're very easy to work with and they have this little wire that kind of cuts. So what's nice is you line that wire right on your line, your pencil line, I can see, boy, I'm get, I need those mag eyes. And then I'm just gonna cut straight along. I'm gonna cut that strip off. And I already have one side already done because I laid my, the edge of my template on the edge of the paper. And then I'm gonna cut the second side. And actually it's the third side really, because the other one was already done. And then I'm going to cut again, and then I'll do one more. Well, I'm going to show you how to fold a star based on this. If that's what everybody had was the, if they'd already made, you know, if you already made your te your uh, pentagons, and this will have no folds, obviously. This one has pre; it's already folded. The one that you uh, do without a template, and this one is without. So I'm going to show you how to do. So we basically think of our thinking of our star. This is our star. If you look at this this point, this point. All these points, those five points right here on your Pentagon will be the points of your star. You can see this will be, so you can kind of see just to visualize how we're gonna collapse this into that. So what you wanna do is just imagine each, there's five places we need to fold in half. And the way we do this is this is my one of my points right here and I'm gonna mark them for you. I don't, maybe in the first time you make these, you might wanna mark them just to kind of visualize your star. You know, if you just kind of, just for the first time, when you're first doing this, it's not bad. It's not a bad idea to make some marks. So what we want to do is we want to fold this. I want to take this first point that's right here on my right, and I'm going to fold this whole thing in half. And I want, basically I'm folding the Pentagon in half with this point being the first crease. So there it is. I just folded this part in half and I'm going to open it up and we want to rotate it clockwise, just a little clockwise, just one point over. I'm going to go on to the second point and I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make these points meet and just crease. And if I don't, if I like, I just was off a little, so I'm going to go refold that, make sure, because you want to have these edges all lined up before you make your crease. So now I'm opening it up. I'm going to rotate it a little like a clock. Here's my other one, my, my third one. I'm going to fold that one in half. So this pentagon gets folded in half five times for each point. And I can see that my point, I didn't line up my points. So you can always adjust that when you're making your crease. I'm going to open it up. And I see I have this point needs to go. So I'm going to rotate it. And you'll see I have one and two more to go. So and all of the, the lines, everything should just intersect right in the middle. Then you know you're doing it right. I'm gonna go ahead and point, fold this little point in half, lining everything up and open. And then I have one more to go. Just gonna do one more. I'm folding this whole thing in half like this. And then I open it up. Okay, so now you can see I have lines going from here, these are my points or my star points. Kind of, you could see them, right? Hopefully that you, you could see that you all your folds are done. And now what's funny is this is the same thing. <laughs> it's pretty much the same thing, except all the folds would have to be reinforced. You know, you would just have to, if you did your, um, if you had done it like this, you would just want to reverse the folds to get them all going in the same direction like this. So now this is the fun part. So what you have, if you look at your star, you've got the five points. Now you see this, I'm gonna show you this set of lines, right? I'm gonna just show you where this point is and with this point. You don't have to do this on your, um, 
on your star, but I want at least you to, to see where I'm going to fold. And you could see this is a, what I need to do is take these two bottom parts. And this is good. We're going to do this on all five sides. So um, you take the two bottom points and you're going to fold them up to just meet and touch, lay right next to, and you want to line up. Here's that little center crease. You can see it. I just want you to see, visualize. You want this part to lay right um, to meet these little lines. Those are crease fold, those creases there. And then you just go ahead and crease this. So you can see my little, it went just to that, those little valley folds right here that are in the 10 o'clock and two o'clock position on your, on your star. Um, now you're gonna open it up and you're gonna rotate it just one, one over. So you've got, you've got the next, so you've got, this is the crease I just made. You can see it here. So now I'm gonna take this bottom edge and I'm going to do the same. I'm gonna just show you where I'm gonna do it. You want the bottom edge to go right to those lines. And you kind of work it, you just work with your fingers until they line up, kind of just kind of pivot it until you see that that edge comes to this edge here. And I don't know if you can see this with my paper because my paper is all single-sided. So that might be a problem and I can always do this over to show you, but I wanted you to know that you, this line is up on this here. So I'm just gonna crease it and I'm gonna do the same on the other side, just rotating and I'm gonna do this on all five sides. Bring those bottom edge to that little, that part of the valley crease. Make sure that this that mountain fold lays right on top of that fold and then crease. And what you'll notice is you're doing this you could see another pentagon being formed um, just about halfway between the center and the uh, outer edges. You'll see another pentagon crease series being folded. So we're gonna fold the same thing. We're gonna go up to those little, up to these places here and I'm gonna crease and I'm opening it up and I'm gonna put pivot and I have one more time here where I need to do this. I'm gonna take the bottom edge and fold it to that, right up to these parts, those valley creases, and I'm going to crease. So just to show you, you have a bunch of valley folds though, and I'm just gonna mark it so you can see it a little bit better. Not very straight, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. This is another pentagon inside. So what we have now, it, you can see what we have is the, the points here on either, we've got this here, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So what you wanna do is you want to pinch all of these little points. If you take, you take all your points and if you just pinch, okay, here's one side. I'm gonna pinch that so that it kind of, I'm gonna pinch that this way. I'm gonna pinch all of them right at this place where that little, Pentagon is, and it's sort of already gonna, it's kind of pre creasing. And pinching all these, okay, so that you can kind of see as you, you know, you kind of visualize your star. You want to pin, pinch those so they're, they're valleys, and you can kind of see what's happening here. So, what I like to do is I'm gonna start with my star or my pentagon shape with a flat shape towards me, and I'm gonna fold, I'm just gonna fold this left side over. Right, just to fold it over. Basically, you're not making a new crease. You're creating, you're just folding on the existing crease. And I'm gonna take this point that's here, this little point, and I'm going to pinch it. And I'm gonna pinch it all the way until, until I get this bottom part, um, until I, I'm not making any new creases. I'm just taking the bottom and I'm gonna kind of fold it up and I'm going to pinch right here just so you can kind of see that sort of becomes like a, it's standing up now, my little, my little point is standing up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my fingers, I'm just gonna lay it down. It's not a new crease really, except I'm actually making a new crease underneath, but you don't see that. I'm just gonna lay it down and press, and now I'll, I'm going to just create, let that happen. It comes into this little angled fold here. I'm gonna, then I'm gonna undo it because I'm gonna just go to the next one. So I'm gonna turn it, 
And I'm going to take this same, I'm just repeating what I did before. I'm just not making a new crease, building my little edge down. And I'm gonna take this point, this point right here, and I'm gonna kind of make it stand up and I'm gonna pinch it together until my, until this folds on that bottom or the center, this part here, this pentagon part. I'm just gonna hold it up and then I'm gonna lay it down just like I did with the other one. I'm going to not make any new creases yet. I'm just gonna make, once I lay it down, then I'm gonna squash it down flat. And then I'm gonna open it up. And I'm gonna do the same on the next point, which I'm gonna fold my, just fold it back on an existing crease, take this bottom corner, bring it up and you'll see it just naturally comes up because there's this pentagon bottom of the pentagon and then I'm going to flatten it. Now that one looked like it didn't flatten the way I wanted to and I don't know why so I'm just going to kind of make sure it's, it seems to be okay now. Okay I'm turning it and I think I have one more to go so I'm going to just do the left side make fold that in just fold it back on itself taking the bottom, this bottom point, and I'm gonna bring it up all the way. I'm gonna make this flat here, kind of make that squash fold happen, or just basically have it standing straight up. And then I'm gonna just push it over to the side where it kind of automatically goes. Now I've got all the sides done. So now I'm not creating, doing any more. I think I've got them all. Nope, I have one more. So you can see if it's right because these little folds that are going at an angle, I have one more to go, I see that. So I'm gonna just take, and so it doesn't hurt to do the repeat over and over if you're not sure. But take, so you take this left side, open up, make that pinch fold on the bottom corner until it, till this little pentagon part is, you can see this pentagon here on the bottom and then just lay it down and flatten it. And I'm gonna make sure I have them all and it looks like I still have, no, nope, I got them all now. So, and I can do this again with another piece of paper if it makes it easier because I'm noticing that it may be a little harder for you to visualize because I have a single side. So I apologize if this is hard to see, but we'll do it again. And it's always good to see something more than once anyway. So what I, what I wanna do though, is I wanna get all these little points, kind of, I'm gonna stand them up a little bit, all of my little points, and I'm not, because I've pre-creased everything, I'm going to, this is like a miracle thing. It's really weird how it works. But as you put them all together and you kind of want them all to kind of flatten down, but you want to do it in a way so that they're, let's say you make all your little points move to the, to the uh, left side. And as you're doing that, you'll notice it's almost like you want it to collapse and it flattens into a star kind of magically. And it has an overlapping now, as I'm pushing down, I'm not making new creases. I'm just reinforcing the creases I made. And now I have now made my star shape. My basic star shape is done. It has basically this little uh, section that would be white if you had origami paper and you have these five points. So now I'm gonna turn it over and I've got this pentagon shape right here. And what I need to do is fold this little bottom, I'm gonna start with this bottom one here, and I'm gonna fold this all the way to, there's a line you can see, and I'm gonna just mark it so you can see. There's a little mountain fold crease right there. I don't know if you can see that, will go a little darker. There's this mountain fold crease right here. I'm gonna take this edge, I'm gonna bring it to that, to that crease, and I'm just gonna press and you'll, and I want my point to come to a perfect point. So however you get there, but you wanna get that to a point and then I'm just gonna crease. So that is my first fold on that. Then I'm just gonna rotate it and do the same thing, but this time I'm not worried about this line. I'm gonna bring this point, this little edge here is gonna go, I'm gonna basically have it meet right in that center part. I'm just gonna meet it there, meet right there. And then I'm just going to take my point and just kind of use my finger to guide that, to fold, make that crease to the very edge to get that point. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to bring this point right here 
same thing. Just bring it over right to the meat to your other point, other to your other uh, edges right here. And I'm going to just take my finger and gently glide it along so that it becomes a point. And then I'll crease. And then same thing with the next one, bringing it to that center, just right in the middle, and then making that point. And just kind of move it around, pivot it until you get that point. Like, there we go, I've got a point now. And I'm going to crease that. Now the very last one's a little harder because you're having to fold underneath this. But so what it is, is I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna kind of roll it. It's, it's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to lift this little part and I'm gonna roll it over to so that I can fold. Basically, I want that fold. I wanna keep it underneath though. And I'm gonna just bring it underneath and have it meet the same thing. Now, I don't know why I can't, there we go. Bring it underneath and have it meet that section and then bring over your point. And now your star is complete. And this paper is a little bit harder to work with, but there I've got the star. It lays down into this and it kind of falls into place, if that makes sense. It should fall into place, hopefully. <laughs>